Hey, what is going on guys? Edward here, back with another video. Um, this would be, I don't know, I believe, I don't know, part 228 or 17.9, I don't know. I just know that I do have a, a lot of videos based on market structure. And um, I will just simply place uh, on top, on the right corner right here, I'm gonna place the actual playlist that you need to watch if you want to learn uh, auto blocks okay smart money concept my way okay again i just want to say that smart money concept is not something that i created okay it's not my own strategy something that i have gone through and i i have pretty much find little little um improvements in there little things that have been playing out for me and um, but as i mentioned this is something that is not my smart money concept it's not something that i created and it's been out there for a while and uh, I just if you want to just learn my way you know go ahead and watch the playlist that I'm gonna place you here on the top right corner okay at the moment I'm just gonna continue um, <clears throat> with the explanation on market structure giving more examples okay because I know and I see that um, most of my subscribers even students are still struggling with this and the reason is because not all the time the market will show you a perfect structure okay it is going to be challenging i'm giving you an example right here maybe this example is quite simple and easy because the market structure is quite clear right here right it's very clear market is just simply creating lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows right very simple and let's guy actually go with that <clears throat> in this scenario right here very important to mark up uh where the actual break of the structure is the confirmed break of the structure, okay? And that way we can identify where is the confirmed lower high, lower low, lower high, lower, and so on, right? That way we're gonna pretty much understand, okay, we're bearish, and now you will see when the market maybe is changing the direction, right? Maybe showing a change of character, right? Where the market now is gonna start pushing up, okay? And the opportunities that it can give you. So just from here, we can clearly see that, well, let's understand this at the moment. Market has been, uh, you know, doesn't have many, like a, a clean move, right? I do know, I do clearly see the market is definitely going to the downside is because I'm, I'm showing this example on a currency pair. Um, currency pairs, they move a little slower, so you may not be seeing huge candles all the time, okay? So I'm giving you this example here because it, it will definitely help you because I know most of you also trade currency pairs. So let's go ahead and, and, and do that. All right. So pretty much from this move right here, all the way to the bottom right here, from this low, the market created that low and then broke. Right. How? What? What can we call this? Okay. Understand what the market is doing. In order for me to confirm that this is a boss, a break of a structure. Okay. Confirmed break of a structure. I need to see that uh, at, at least if we were going on, on to the downside, the market needs to take liquidity. Where is the liquidity that I'm seeing that is taken? At least it's taking liquidity right here right so this is called inducement okay now right here i will definitely mark up and this will be my break of the structure my boss okay that's the first break of the structure so market simply do this we see that the market broke correction <clears throat> move right that two moves right here right in these two moves remember the market will always leave you some sort of position right here like the poi right and maybe the origin Okay, from the top, All right? Market, I always tell uh, my students that be careful with this, okay? Because there's always liquidity. The market, you have to see liquidity before you place your position, right? You see what happened there? This was a fake um, or a trap, right? For smart money traders right there, the market did not, it did mitigate it though, and it was trying to go down, but at the end of the day, just ended up actually pushing up, taking that liquidity, mitigating the one in the top before actually breaking. Right, so you see that little little trap right there on, on this high. So, all right, market at least pushed up, induced right here, right? We do have an inducement. It took liquidity, right? Oh, what am I doing? We have an inducement right there, right? Let me clean this for a moment. So we have an inducement. That means that if the price now breaks to the downside, we do have a break of the structure. Now, in this case, because just look at how close it is, we may say that maybe this is another inducement. It's not a break of the structure yet because the body of the candle did not close below. 
it's up to you you can actually put this as an inducement and maybe the boss right here or you could just because you know what happened the market just ended up breaking a little later right maybe that's your boss that's your break of the structure you can mark that as a break of the structure it's not going to hurt you to be honest right there so we have the break of the structure again right what the market does again market drops correction drop right here induces pushes up at least takes the first lower high we do have an inducement to the upside once induces the price now the price now breaks again to the downside guess what we have then another break <clears throat> a confirmed break of the structure okay and after that what do we have price after the break you see this minor correction right there the market actually takes the liquidity from that high that's basically my inducement right there and again price ends up breaking to the downside one more time that's another pause we have another break in structure okay so at the moment what do we have if we want to mark this thing up right we have so far this low right here it's my confirm lower low because the market now pushed to the upside induced and uh, induced right here and broke right that confirms this is my right here in this area my lower high right price went to the downside created this low pushed up induced that confirms that this is my lower low okay after creating this high price drops breaks right breaks this previous low so that confirms this is my lower high after it breaks creates this low then price pushes stop induces that confirms that this is my lower low and so on right here this high was the last high before the price broke right confirm so this is my lower high right then creates this low price pushes up induces that confirms this is my lower low price creates that high after that last high price breaks to the downside this confirms this is my lower high and so on i'm marking this up oh i'm marking this up my god i'm sorry All right i'm marking this up this way because now i know when the change of character would happen okay normally the change of character would happen if the price breaks a confirmed lower high in this case if we are bearish right if the price would have done this here after creating this low the price would have done this boom that's my change of character okay change of character is not happening here right it's not happening here it's not happening here no it's above the confirmed lower high okay big mistake all the time people do is oh price is pushing up here price pushing up after this low and it's breaking this this is my change of character why would this be a change of character no change of character will happen somewhere above this high and it failed you see it didn't break that high it failed and broke to the downside instead okay so so far since it recently broke where's my change of character my change of character will happen somewhere there okay that would be the correct change of character at the moment we don't know if it's going to start pushing up or what right so you simply <clears throat> wait and see what the market is going to actually be doing right very important to understand the direction at this point we're still bearish still bearish until you see the break now you see what's happening there we have now a potential change of direction right we have a potential change of character right here now after seeing this change of character we normally focus on where is where's my zone where's my poi change of and uh, photo block right we're seeing at the bottom right here there's a lot of weeks right here in this area but um, i see some imbalance right there i would maybe go with this one we can take this entire zone if you want because because of the huge week i see that some traders they actually will take that week they will cover that entire week right i'm seeing a poi right here on the just right here on the five minute i'm seeing this poi this would be the first zone i would not place any position just yet because i want to see liquidity i want to see the market actually building up liquidity otherwise i i am going to need that liquidity all right so i want to see the market building up some liquidity right maybe going mitigating and now going up that's what i want to see all right so at this point let's see what the market actually did so it looks it like depending on on what type of uh entry you're doing you can trade i'm doing this box right here because you can make your position at the 50 percent it's up to you i always explain this it's up to you at the end of the day you can make your entry at the 50 percent or the 100 percent 
Here's our feet. All right. Same thing right here. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here at the 50%. It is our feet. All right. Let's say we're actually taking it. If you would have taken that entry right there, maybe your entry got triggered, right? But guess what? We want to see as the liquidity. So the liquidity happened like it's literally right here below this low, right? But at the same time, it's it, it looks like it's already mitigating the zone. So it might be gone already, right? Creating another high right there. So let's see what's going to happen with this particular trade. Market comes back down a little bit. You see, it's actually taking the liquidity down. You see, after creating the lows, did it hit? Oh, I, I, I don't think it actually hit. No, it did not hit it. It did not hit the 50%. Almost, almost hit the 50%. Let's see what it did anyways. Yeah, price ended up actually pushing up. The, the change of direction was definitely fine. Uh, but you see the POI, it did react to the POI though. Actually, you see this little wick right there, boom, taking that liquidity out. It did take it, but barely missed your position. So in this case, guys, what I'm showing you here is it's up to you, all right? If you want to make the entry right there, let's just stop there. Your target is normally above the high. In this case, you would have been aiming maybe there, that high, or this high, depending on, on what time you got in. Because if you got in with this, you know, touch, right? right there, then your target would have been there, right? <clears throat> Very short position in this case, in this scenario, but market did end up actually pushing up, continue pushing up, all right? But you see where it happened, where the change of character happened, right? Which is why I'm, I'm actually showing you this video today. This is what I basically I wanted to show you. When the change of character happens and why I am marking the structure this way. Always you have to see inducement. The market needs to take liquidity. If the market is still bearish, the market will market makers will always try to push the markets a little higher to take some liquidity, at least some liquidity out, even sometimes you know mitigating order blocks because you can actually go with those order blocks. There is an order block right there, uh, right here, you know, this zone. There was another order block that mitigated and broke. So continuation as well. There's another order block potentially right here, right, where the market reacted ended up breaking to the downside. So you see, order block after order block, right? But understand when the change of direction is going to happen is key, all right? Let me see if I can actually show you another example. All right, now right here, this uh, bullish scenario, market is going up, <clears throat> easy to see, right? The market is actually going to the upside, right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and mark the structure off. At least, let's go from here, starting from the left side right there. See, from this side of the market, there is a moment where the market actually tries try to break. That to me would be some sort of inducement. But because this body of the candle is kind of like getting closer there, it, you can mark it as a, as a break. But you need to be paying attention, close attention, okay? Um, because sometimes the market will definitely reverse and start crashing from there if there is no body of the candle closing above. I'll mark it up definitely as a boss at the moment, but let me explain why. So. When, when the price created this high, when the market was kind of pushing up, created that high, then pulled back, induced. You see the market did induce right here. And because it had that, that inducement, okay, price broke now to the upside. Yes, I will say this is now my confirmed break of the structure. Okay, confirmed break of the structure so far. Price created that little high, dropped. Now that drop, it's inducing right here. It took liquidity. From this lows, right? Uh, my inducement here, because it, it already induced and now pushed up, right here. We are gonna call this one, yes, another confirm break of the structure. Okay. Now look at what the market does here. Price, look at the move. Okay. Understand the move. Price did this little move right there. Minor correction, minor correction, push. Right. Look at what the market does drop it's not inducing anything the previous lows were right here so it's not inducing anything creates a new high what is that is this a boss no it's not a boss this is an inducement market drops then after that boom now it's inducing at least this low right there is taking it and now price pushes up and now breaks that previous high. so this is my confirmed boss and this right here is not a boss it's an inducement so this little right here this move 
it's not it's nothing it's just an inducement okay understand that market then drop takes this liquidity out makes that inducement right there nice and then boom we got a break of the structure to the upside okay look what i'm doing and how i'm doing it because i'm going to mark up later which that confirm high 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 low and all that stuff to understand when the change of character can happen <clears throat> now press moves look at the clean move look at the clean move right here clean move minor correction and another push right another push right here correction push you see we have inducement inducement this is all inducement right here this is not a break of the structure this is just an inducement right here another inducement right here right after that price breaks to the downside goes to the downside at least taking some at least the first one right there taking the first liquidity down right after that low inducing now if it breaks to the upside guess what we would have our next boss if it breaks to the upside is it going to break we'll see but at the moment that would definitely be a break of a structure if it does okay so so far what do we have <clears throat> so far we have this was my higher high right market induced created this low broke right the previous the lowest point before it breaks is right here so that uh, because it broke already this is my confirmed in this case higher low okay now price creates this this high drops induces that confirms this is my higher high right induces after the inducement this is the lowest point before the break right so the lowest point before the break of a structure to the upside is it's it's right here this is the lowest point this this makes this my next higher low my confirmed higher low okay and so on let's see here this is not a higher high this is not a confirmed higher high right why because uh, as i mentioned it's just it was just a little inducement right there after this high so price corrects pushes up creates a new high and this high after creating this high price drops and it takes the inducement because it is inducing now this makes this my confirmed higher high see what i mean so now this lowest point you see the lowest point after the break right there that confirms this is my definitely my higher low right now guess what what guess what we have so far at this point hold on just making all right <clears throat> what do we have now higher high higher low high high higher low high high higher low so far we have inducement inducement we don't know if this is my confirmed higher high yet we don't know because there's no uh, well it is an inducement I, i'm sorry my bad there is there the market did induce so i'm sorry yes this is my confirmed higher high so far my confirmed higher high why because it induced I'm sorry for that it was my mistake so because it did already induce what we don't have so far even though this is the lowest point so far this is what it looks like we cannot mark this as my confirm higher low yet why because we don't have a break yet we don't have a break of the structure to the upside okay so we cannot mark it up all right very important that i cannot mark this thing up as my confirm higher low so that means that my last break of confirmed break of the structure was right here this makes this guess what this is my change of character this is where the change of character will happen at least at the moment it's not happening right now but this would be my change of character so let's see what is actually going to happen in this case this is very very important to to understand it and have this this zone and and, and marking this thing correctly because you would get confused if you don't know that this is an inducement another inducement this is not a boss this is not a boss right so if you don't have that you would be marking people will be marking actually this as a change of character like okay? and, and i and i, I kind of understand them you know this is a change of character they're saying that this is a change of character this is a boss and look at that the market actually mitigated this this uh, origin right there really nice and now dropping okay i get it it did play out this to me is not a change of character this is just a boss a break of instruction to the downside right the market is touching that zone yes because it has one hell of an imbalance right there it is a, a, as a matter of fact an origin a, the origin of this drop right there but there like there is no change of character yet 
That's what I'm trying to say. There's no change of character. The change of character will happen after I confirmed higher low. In this case, we're bullish. Okay, so I get it. Some people will say that this is a bust, but it's not because the market was not taking liquidity. So uh, we continue with this. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Boom, we're starting to actually have some some break now to the downside. Now we do have now that we have the actual potential change of direction, where is our zone? Okay, we're we're gonna mark the actual areas. The, the closest area so far would be this one, right? I will cover this this candle right there as my POI and maybe zones or blocks at the at, like at the top. I don't know, maybe somewhere here at the very origin, somewhere very high, right there. Okay, I'm not sure if maybe here, but I want to see, pay attention to this one. Like, just in case, I want to see liquidity, as I mentioned. I want to see if the market will actually form some sort of liquidity. Consolidation. This is what I like. When the market starts, you see that it already built up liquidity. It already have liquidity here so because it already built up that liquidity right that makes this order block much more attractive and yes you can look now to place your sell positions if you want to go there or you want to go here I don't know what I did Hold on. What am I doing? I'm not sure what is going on with this, but I think it got, I don't know if it's some sort of glitch <laughs> or something. I don't know what the heck. Let me see if I can stretch it out. All right, let's say, yeah, that's my target. Okay, looks like it's playing now. All right, so something like that, right? You can play, you can place your position on that one or you can wait a little bit more there's definitely more liquidity above these highs so I would be paying attention to that sometimes the POIs the POI zones they won't uh, they won't work not all the time you can still get stopped out okay so let's see what the market is actually going to do ah, I'm just gonna accelerate this thing so it looks like it's gone oh no okay look at that so market actually went and it actually did mitigate so look at that so market ended up dropping look it did actually mitigated the zone did not touch the 50 percent though you could have missed it your target in this case would have been this low so you see if you're if you're thinking about taking the actual 50 percent sometimes you're going to miss them all right so this is up to you you have to make a decision you want to enter there you want to enter here I have students that they actually make two positions they make one position here and another position here like just in case you, you you know this something like that happened at least you're taking the first position all right but this is up to you guys and understand where the change of character happened this would have been under like people will mark this thing as somewhere here that the change of character is actually happening here or it happened below this low they will mark this as the chalk and this change of character right there right uh, and they will mark this as a boss but to me, it is not a break of destruction. Okay? Because to me, that was just a simple minor correction and then another, you know, push, correction, push. There was no liquidity taken. So this is not a boss either, the one at the top. Just an inducement. They confirmed so far. Break of destruction was actually right. It was actually right here. And the change of character was this one nice clean break okay nice clean break right there market actually did end up mitigating before dropping and we're now it looks like we're now going to the bearish side okay so i hope it makes sense with these two examples that i showed you today guys uh, there's nothing wrong as i mentioned there's nothing wrong when marking this thing uh, as the break of a structure and this is the change of card it's just that you're going to get maybe a little bit more confused because you might be thinking, oh my God, yes, 
that change of character is actually happening right now. And you might be thinking that there are a lot of change of character. You're thinking that this is also a change of character right here. Maybe after this break, right? Oh, this is a boss. And now it's breaking, clean break, right? So this is a change of character. So most likely you're going to be waiting to catch maybe this OB here or maybe this origin right here. You know what I mean? So you're going to get so confused. That's why I mark it this way. I understand my, my, my structure, which is key. It's important. Otherwise, you're going to fall into these little traps. These are little traps, okay? There's nothing wrong to it. Yeah, it did play out in this one, but it did not play out here. You see, in this particular scenario, very similar scenario, people will, will be marking this as a, as a change of character right here. And in reality, it's not, you know? So understand where the confirmed higher low, higher low, higher low, and the higher highs are, okay? Very, very important. I hope it makes sense. If you still have some questions, please let me know in the comment section, guys. If you're new on the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to go at the top right corner. There's a big playlist there. You can call that a free course based on smart money concept. And if you still want more, just visit my website, teamprofitsfx.com. I am offering a bundle. I normally offer great discounts in there. And there's, there's just one-time payment, and you're part of the team forever. All right? Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.